So let me show you all the features of this fan and how to use it. So firstly, when it's at its lowest setting, it's about 38 inches tall at the top. And we can adjust its height by loosening this screw here and extending the pole. And then we should tighten that screw back up to make sure it holds fast. And at its tallest point, it looks closer to 46, maybe 45 inches. Now we can have the fan face in a perpendicular direction like this with the ground, or we can tilt it up like that. And then it's easy to tilt it back into place like that. Now there are two ways to control the fan. We have a control panel here that works like a touch screen. We can turn it on with the buttons, change the power settings, etc. Or we can simply use the included remote control here, which controls for power, timer, mode, speed, oscillation, or it can even mute that beeping sound you heard. So first I'm going to use the power button to turn it on. And this is currently in its lowest setting right here. You can hear how quiet it is. And we can turn that up to medium or high. But for now, let's keep it on low just to minimize the sound while we're using it. If we press the oscillation button, we'll see that it rotates back and forth. And if we press it again, we can get it to stop. Now, right now it's just set on normal mode, but if we hit the mode button once, it will set it into breeze mode. Now, breeze mode on this fan is actually used to simulate like an outdoor breeze. So let's hit it. And what it's going to do is stay running at this speed for a little bit. And then after a little bit, it will reduce its settings just to kind of simulate a breeze going up and down, just like you would experience outdoors. You can see there it slowed down significantly. And now it's picking back up, just like a breeze would. And then it reduced again significantly. And now it's picking back up again. Now if we hit the mode button again, it goes into sleep mode. And when it's in sleep mode, it acts like it's in breeze mode, but it reduces itself to the lowest settings as well, just to stay nice and quiet. Now we also have a timer button here, so we can set for how long it will actually stay on. So if you want to fall asleep and only leave it on for a little bit, this button will do that. And you can look right here to see how long your timer is set for. Right now there is no timer, but if I hit the button once, it will set itself for a half hour. Again, it sets itself for an hour. Set it again and it's for two hours. Set it again and it's for four hours. And then one more time and it sets itself for seven and a half hours. So there you go. There's everything you need to know about how to operate this fan. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please let me know.